Fruits of the Spirit Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Number 1, Love The cornerstone of the Gospel, and the instruction given to us from Jesus. John 13 verse 34 A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Number 2. Joy The joy that emanates deep from within that is not contingent on our circumstances. John 15 verse 11 These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Number 3. Peace We are blessed with a deep and abiding state of complete assurance and calm that comes from our complete trust in the Lord. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Number 4. Long-suffering. Enduring discomfort without becoming disheartened or resentful, which builds a deeper trust in God's purpose for our lives. 2 Timothy 3 verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience. Number 5. Gentleness. Displaying a genuine kindness that flows from the heart that is totally selfless. Every word of speech and every action displayed is done in a kind and gentle manner. Number 6. Goodness. Having a moral excellence and a genuine desire to do what is right in any circumstance, and the need to alleviate the suffering of others which illuminates the path to righteousness. Number 7. Faith. Having an unwavering trust and confidence in God. A daily choice to trust God in all circumstances, that should be demonstrated through our every action wholeheartedly. Romans 1 verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Number 8. Meekness. Being humble and having a submissive quality, speaking and acting with grace even under difficult circumstances. Having great empathy and compassion. Galatians 6 verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Number 9. Temperance. Mastering the discipline of self-control in every area of our lives, not giving in to our desires, impulses and emotions but rather aligning everything in our lives with God's will. Let's actively pursue these Christ-like habits and pray for our behaviors to change with the help of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Make me the fulfillment of the fruit of the Spirit. Even in the tough times help me to rejoice in your goodness and your plan for my life. I pray that you would help me to counteract the seeds from the enemy with the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Help me to rejoice in you always. May the joy of the Lord be my strength in every battle. Implant peace within my heart, as my mind stirs constantly. Give me that never-ending faith that I can worship you amidst any storm. Allow me to be meek when unbearable situations arise. Grant me the temperance I need to display Christ in all that I do. I pray to live in faith. Allow me to do deeds and show love to others, not for my credit, but for your glory. Help me, Lord, to resist the temptations of the enemy. Let self-control be a shield against the enemy's attacks. 
help me to exercise self-control in my thoughts, my words, my actions, and even my reactions. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.